So I finally got Llama to run locally on my GPU in Windows, and it turns out that the only way that worked for me um, after trying for like two days was uh, TinyGrad, which is a um, a fairly new uh, deep learning framework made by GeoHot, which is the same guy, the same guy that uh, was the first person to jailbreak the PS3 and the iPhone, um, which is a fun fact. But um, so it's actually quite simple. Uh, first, you need Git, and you need Python, and I will put those. Uh, as the first two links in the description. And then once you have Git Python, uh, go to the GitHub link, the third link in the description, and then uh, we can start. So uh, make a new folder and then go in that folder, um, click up here, type CMD. And then once that pops open, you can type these uh, command lines uh, in one at a time. So start with the git clone one. Uh, you can paste that in and then uh, type cd tinygrad and then python3 dash m pip install dash e uh, space dot and that installs it. You may need to change uh, python3 here to just python uh, depending on how you install python. But um, once you have that the git clone command downloaded all these files in the tinygrad folder. And um, next thing we want to do is we're going to want to go to examples. Well, first of all, if you need the llama model, uh, like weights, uh, you can go to this video up here. And uh, that is about the leak of the llama weights. Um, and then you put them in the weights folder. Um, but if you want to change uh, where the weights are, for example, if you have it downloaded on another hard drive, you can go in examples and then open llama. And then you can scroll all the way down here to tokenizer file name and the weights file name. And then you can manually set that to uh, your tokenizer uh, model file and your actual uh, weights file. So, uh, and make sure to put an R before the string there. So, to actually run it, uh, right click in the TinyGrad folder, make a new text document, and then um, rename it to inference.bat, or you can call it start.bat or run.bat, um, and you may need to enable the file name extensions here if you click on view. You may need to enable those to change the file extension to a batch file, and then uh, in the batch file is a uh, this i will put this in the description so you can easily copy and paste it um actually it'll look like this because i decided to change it so it's actually going to look like that so gpu one here is saying we want to use the gpu and opt local uh is a speed boost i don't exactly know what it means but uh i had a uh, github issue um and George Hotz himself told me it's about four times faster when you have that. He also said uh, they'll have multi-GPU support soon. Anyways, I'm uh, losing track. So um, now that we made that uh, batch file, you can run it. You run the batch file. And then if it says using GPU backend, that is a good sign. That means it's actually using your GPU. Um, and then now here it is loading the uh, weights onto your GPU. So if we scroll down here, we can see uh, my dedicated GPU uh, memory usage will go up slowly as it uh, loads it in. So uh, 
let's see what we can actually get out of the model here. All right, so the model finally loaded. So it may take a while to load in and uh, load all of the uh, prompting in, um, but once it does, you are free to type whatever you want. How are you, Daisy? Um, and if you don't want this pre-prompt uh, in here with the Stacy persona, you can uh, run the script with a dash dash uh, prompt um, parameter. So for example, uh, you could do something like dash dash prompt equals and then, you know, say, oh, well, maybe you'd want quotes. So you would say, how are you, Stacy? And then it will skip this whole prompt and uh, act as if it's trying to finish your sentence instead of a uh, chatbot. So it's pretty good. Um, it's not the fastest thing in the world, and it's also not the smartest thing in the world, but it runs locally on my computer. And it doesn't require an internet connection. Um, and I can do whatever I want with it, and it has no limits whatsoever. Um, so that's great. So uh, hopefully you got this to work. If you didn't, I highly recommend uh, joining the Discord server, and uh, I can help you out there. Um, or we have a bunch of other people that may be able to help you out too. And um, hit the subscribe button, give the video a like if you liked it, and thanks for watching. Have a good day.